What was it like being uh, next to Doc? I mean, uh, that, must, that must have been like, you couldn't get to your stuff for like... For yeah, we, we joked about it, but uh, no, Dak is a really great guy. He's, he's so humble. Uh, just being the superstar that he is, I, I, it's amazing to me. Like, he's, he's being so young and just taking in all this and everything, the, the, the stardom. and Because, you know, he can't really go anywhere. But he's still just, you know... He loves everybody on the team. He's, he's an exceptional young man. He's just he's a great person all around, you know. So I know we joke about it and everything, but he's he's a great guy. He's great. Did you share uh, lockers next to him this past season also? or? Yeah. 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 Shared uh, since he's been there with us. Well, <laughs> since I've been there now. <laughs> Who did you start off having as your uh, neighbor before Dak? Uh, Mo Claiborne and uh, Phil Costa. So it was a little quieter before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, obviously when you're sitting next to the quarterback, uh, everybody wants to talk to him. So it's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like being in some of the defensive meetings with Rod Marinelli? I know he's super intense. Did he have a nickname for you? Yes, uh, Rod Marinelli, honestly, he's a great guy. He's funny as heck. Uh, he's very intense. His nickname for me was Wilma. Just like his nickname for Tyrone was Cinderella Man. Uh, <laughs> so he has a nickname for everybody. I think he does it on purpose just to, uh, just to try to get underneath your skin to see how you're going to uh, react to it. So, but he's a great guy. He's going to push you to, the, you know, to be your best. But, you know, he has all good intentions. How is he good at getting the best out of everybody? Is it just kind of his old school mentality? Or is there something that he brings that he's able to get you guys to go to the next level? I think with him is uh, certain people have, you know, expe expectations of people. He doesn't put a ceiling on you. He expects, like, the very best. You know, if you come in as a first-round draft pick or a, a free agent, he expects you to be a pro bowler no matter what. It, it doesn't matter how high you got drafted, what your abilities are. He's, he's not going to say, oh, well, he can't, he can't speed rush. Oh, he can't power rush. He can't do this and that. He's, he, doesn't, he doesn't have that feeling. He's you, you're going to do it, and if you can't do it, I'm going to make you do it. <laughs> so he just he just has this approach that nothing you nothing nothing really matters what you think. You know, it's just uh, you're going to go do it.